I'm here at the Forest Glen Preserve in uh, Illinois. It's just about uh, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes south of Danville, Illinois. Um, it's basically a conglomeration of a lot of nature preserves and just protected land. It's right here next to the Vermilion River and it's supposed to be great. Let's check it out. I'm gonna do things a little weird on this hike, at least for this trail. I'm starting off at the uh, Big Woods Trailhead. Uh, I'm gonna walk a couple of miles in, I think it's 2.5, and camp for the night. But this apparently is the reverse direction. It's kind of sticky out here, and the bugs are definitely out. So let the summer begin. Okay, I'm coming into uh, the East Camp, and uh, my first impression is, wow, really nice. So you can see here, Site 5, and it just goes on quite a bit of distance. There's even a privy. So I'm gonna take a look around and uh, see if any of these sites are better than any of the others. So after inspecting each site, I have determined that site number three is scientifically the best site. Um, it's gonna work the best for me and uh, I really like it. So let's go, check it out. So before I start to lose uh, too much light, I wanna show you exactly what I like about this uh, campsite. What makes it a good campsite? For me, sleeping on the ground, it's a couple of things that I wanna look out for. I do not want compacted dirt. That is bad, especially if it rains. Um, that water's just gonna pool up and it's gonna cause me issues all through the night. So what I want is a leaf debris, something that I can uh, insulate from the ground. So that's what I like about this. Let me show you. This is where you don't wanna put up your tent. You don't want to put your tent here. You don't want to put your tarp here for sure. Uh, your hammock doesn't really matter. Um, so what I'm looking at, some of this area. Uh, the thicker, the better. These are some great sites. Uh, I don't know if you can see this picnic table over here, but that's the campsite over. So plenty of room. This is definitely not a state park. No one else here in the campground. This is nice. All right, it's time to set up the tarp. The moment I've been waiting for. 
I'm gonna look around, find the best spot for me tonight, and uh, I'll check in then. Morning from the Forest Glen backpacking trail. Uh, again, this is an 11 mile loop. There are two places to camp. Uh, you have the East Camp, which is where I stayed last night, and you also have the Group Camp. It's been a beautiful morning, walking along the uh, Vermilion River. A lot of ups and downs on this trail. Um, apparently, I am going in the wrong direction. Uh, apparently all the trails, all the blazes are on the other sides of the tree. Uh, that's kind of interesting. And there are some um, uh, posts that they've uh, put alongside some sections of the trail. Uh, those you can tell either direction, but I have to look behind me to make sure sometimes I'm on the trail. Um, adds a little bit of a challenge to it. There are a lot of trails that kind of uh, weave through here, just past the Hickory Ridge Trail not too long ago. Um, so you have to be careful not just wandering onto the wrong trail but I've got GPS and uh, it's pretty well blazed. And if you're going in the other direction, I imagine it's uh, quite a bit easier. But I always like a challenge. trail is really uh, opened up, leveled out. Very nice open section of this trail. I'm here at the group campground. Nice, nice big sights. <laughs> this is site number two. Nice wide open sights. mud off.
Now, there are some uh, sort of special rules here at the uh, Forest Glen Preserve. Uh, for the backpacking trail, you need to fill out a form uh, online. You can email that to them, but they want that uh, a week ahead of time. Make sure they have room to uh, fit everybody in. Uh, this trail can get really popular on the weekends, I guess. Um, but unfortunately, this trip was kind of last minute for me. So I called them uh, on the phone at the visitor center. And that's where you register. I was able to just go there in person, fill out the registration and uh, pay the $10 and get a, a site at the uh, East Camp. I uh, haven't seen anyone else on the trail. This is a, uh, came here Wednesday night. So today's Thursday. And I'm coming up on the visitor center here soon. And I do wanna say that everyone I dealt with on the phone and when I got here to, to do the uh, registration, uh, they were absolutely wonderful. Uh, full of information, courteous, polite. So special thanks to them and uh, for uh, being able to accommodate me. I really appreciate it. And I got some maple syrup. just about wraps up uh, this uh, River Ridge backpacking trail here at Flor Forest Glen. Uh, really great trail, uh, really well marked. Most of it's uh, ups and downs in the ravines by the, uh, by the river with lots of creeks, lots of creek crossings. Um, and then uh, you finish uh, out here on this grassland. So uh, that's really nice. Big open prairie, lots of cicadas out there. So great trail. Thanks again. Thanks for watching.